Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kalika and you're gonna be a better person after watching this video. Everyone dies one day. Everyone. Even wolves. But not books. Not words. Words don't die. My son, three, who is a lot smarter than I am. Oh, frick off, Rebecca. He did not say that. Today, I went to my favorite cafe with friend one and friend two to talk, work, and have a good time. We ordered and were talking about the Oscars when I noticed that the man next to us was reading Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I was mortified. Friend one saw that I was feeling uneasy and asked me what was going on. I simply pointed at the book that the guy was holding and friend one understood. He was livid. I told friend two what was happening. I stood up, friend one did too. Without saying a word, I approached the table the guy was sitting at and took the book from his hands. The guy, surprised, asked me what I was doing. I stayed silent, I walked to the trash bin. Friend one stood between me and the man as I threw his book in. The guy, surprised, began to protest but friend one shut him up swiftly. He told him that the book he was reading was a racist, xenophobic and sexist. I nodded, approving. Friend two joined in. We told him that his book was a relic of the past when America was racist and that the white supremacists of today were still fueled by publications like these. The guy mumbled something, his face red with shame. He knew he was in the wrong. He quickly stormed out of the cafe. The customers who were present were looking at us with approbation and admiration. Good feeling. The greatest and most powerful revolutions often start very quietly, hidden in the shadows. My mom ordered two different pizzas from two different places because she had coupons and they both got here at the same time. So we had a Pizza Hut delivery guy and a Domino's delivery guy both standing by our front door and the Domino's guy looks at the Pizza Hut guy and proceeds to sing Why can't we be friends? while the Pizza Hut guy just glares at him. Bar conversation with a girl wearing a Nirvana shirt. Me. Miss, I would love to buy you a top shelf drink if you can answer this question about the band on your shirt. Girl, sure. Me, can you name the bass player? Girl, crap, no. Me, okay. Mid shelf drink if you can name the drummer. Girl, sorry, I, I don't know. Me, you get a well drink if you can name the singer or guitar player. Girl, mm. me, name any song. Girl. Me. Yeah. You gotta go home and change. My best friend broke up with her boyfriend and he kicked her out so she'd be homeless afterwards. The same day, she started a premium Snapchat, posted it on Tumblr and made 7k in 16 hours. Now she's on a flight to Jamaica to chill for a few months. The power of pussy. I am so proud. Don't ever let a recipe tell you how many chocolate chips to put in. You measure that crap with your heart. One time, I had a dream that I was making peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, and most of them were the regular measurements in cups and stuff. But at the end of the recipe, instead of saying 2.5 cups of chocolate chips, it said 627 chocolate chips. So when I woke up, I made some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, and instead of measuring out chocolate chips, I counted them, and suffered a lot of odd looks from my family for it. Well, it turns out that 627 chocolate chips is the amount that the recipe called for, 2.5 cups. Not only that, but 627 was the exact amount of chocolate chips that we had left in the house. One night when I was in jail, this song came on, this was in 2017, and I started singing along and the inmates were giving me money. Then it ended and I had enough money to bail myself out. Today at school I saw two guys fighting. The older was something around 16 to 18 and the other looked like 12. I, being the nice human being I am, stepped in between. I basically saved the little kid's life. The crowd cheered and clapped, I was so proud. Later that day my teacher told me to stay after class. I of course obeyed. Turns out the kid I saved was her son. She went down on her knees, thanked me and also gave me a thousand dollars for saving her child's life. 
It's because they don't want to do their effing jobs. They want to come to work, sit at a desk, check emails and go home. Heaven forbid a counsellor or administrator or a teacher have to do something productive for the kids. Not all of them. I definitely had some exemplary teachers, but to say they were an exception to the norm would be an understatement. I once chewed out a teacher because she sucked at her job. She only gave us busy work and didn't teach crap, gave out projects that never graded them properly, tests with stuff we never even went over. She was awful. I got wrote up of course for going off on her, but I was regarded as a hero in class because I was saying what all the other kids were thinking. Did they all stand up and clap? Not really, but after I came back from the office there was a moment of like, is she gonna say something to her again? It was really just one chick that kept calling me a hero. I found it awkward. Says the guy who threw a juice box at my face and now I have allergies. Oof. I couldn't slow-mo it. Don't worry, I deleted it from my story since people kept saying, what is this? That's a lie, how did you get allergies from a juice box? Um, the disgusting straws? And then, why was my face hurting? Oof. My mom wouldn't let my pit in for the night when I first moved back home, so my dog ate her door. She left the metal handle and the metal mesh, the rest of the door was gone, and she was sitting inside the patio in the morning. She also pooped straight wood chips for two weeks, and mom let her come in at night after that. My sister-in-law died in a fire. Her Bible was beside her bed on a stand, not a burn mark on the Bible. Awesome. Miracle from God. But Beverly, she died. This just happened. Me. Knock, knock, knock. Lady. Who is it? Me. It's Comcast. Lady opens the door. Oh, great, you're here. Do you know anything about cars? Me. Uh, what? I'm here to fix your cable. Lady. I don't have problems with my cable. I need help with my car. Me. Well, you called Comcast. You want to call a mechanic? Lady. I just need my new plates put on my car and I don't have anyone to do it. Me. Where's the new plates and which car is yours? Lady. They're right here. And it's the black Ford. Thank you so much. Me. Puts her plates on. Okay, it's done. Just for future reference, you can call Comcast for anything other than cable, internet or phone issues. Have a nice day, ma'am. I swear, you can't make this crap up. I used to carry a pitcher of beer above my head at the bar, and when a witch shoved me, I'd spill a little beer on her head. Then when they got pissed, I'd say, I'm so sorry, I got pushed. And that took care of that real quick. And I had great shoulders. Actually, it happened at my new girlfriend's house. She asked me if I wanted to meet her parents, and I was like, yeah, sure. So we got there, her dad was drunk, as soon as I introduced myself to him and her mum. Her dad pulled out a gun and placed it on my forehead and said, if you ever hurt her, I will kill you. I said to him, hey mister, I love your princess, and I kissed her in front of her dad. He started crying and ran upstairs. I stayed sitting at the table with my girlfriend and her mum, and they applauded me for staying at the table. They then told me her father had done this many times before to other boyfriends, and they all ran out of the house pissing themselves. I was the first that didn't, so that was pretty inappropriate of her father. My non-vegan brother did a blind chicken wing taste test today to find the best wing in town. I snuck in a vegan wing from Loving Hut and it won first place. Just goes to show that our vegan bias clouds our judgement sometimes. He said it had the flavour. I love living in the burbs because it's quiet but then I have moments where I hate it. For instance, was at the post office this morning and I hear this lady behind me in line say, they just let anyone move into the area now. I turn and look at this typical yoga pants wearing SUV driving witch and say, excuse me, do we have an issue? She just stares at me and I say, I'm sorry that my appearance bothered you so much, but just so you know, I currently have a job where I make $45,000 a year and I'm in the process of earning my master's in counselling. Before she could get a word out, I then say, what have you accomplished besides teaching your children who were standing with her how to judge others and be intolerant? Maybe you should worry about yourself and stop spreading hate. 
I then turned around and could hear some people laughing and one person clapped. The lady grabbed her kids and left. Never judge a green haired book by its cover. Okay, so that's it for r slash that happened. As always, if you do want to see more content like this, then please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!